two minute warning. Good afternoon, Bleed Big Blue Nation. My name is Marco, your host of the Bleed Big Blue podcast. And we are slowly getting back into things. Camp is here. Now we have a few things to talk about. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be talking about the New York football giants. But all is not well. By not well, I'm talking about wide receiver injuries. We're only two days into camp. Two days, and we already have two wide receivers going out. With questionable depth at that position, it might get a little sticky. First up is Sterling Shepard, who fractured his thumb, catching passes um, early on in training camp. Initially, they thought he was going to be out for about six weeks. But it seemed to be a little bit better because yesterday he was running drills and catching only with one hand, doing some light work. So maybe he might be ready for week one. They had him in his splint. We were all hopeful that he'll be back sooner rather than later. This year is supposed to be a really big year for Shep. He's supposed to be our number one wide receiver, and we're not looking for any type of setbacks that'll mess that up. Then we have Corey Coleman, who's going to miss the whole year out with a torn ACL. This is devastating. We spoke a lot in the offseason on who would be our third wide receiver, and a lot of people thought it was going to be Corey. So I believe at the beginning of the year, he signed a one-year deal to return with the Giants. This was supposed to be the year that he proved to everyone that he was worth that first round grade when he was originally drafted. The Giants gave him a shot last year, and they were giving him a shot this year. But this injury is a tough one. So that brings into question our wide receiver depth. Currently, there are seven wide receivers who are healthy and ready to go. We're talking Golden Tate. There's a little footnote on that. I'll get to that one. Cody Latimer, Beanie Flower, Russell Shepard, Alonzo Russell, Damari Scott, and everyone's favorite wide receiver number 13, Reggie White Jr. A few guys on the back end of that list I haven't even seen play or haven't seen much of. Apparently this afternoon, the Giants are gonna bring in a bunch of wide receivers and give them a workout and hopefully sign one or two. Former Panthers Gettleman pick, Calvin Benjamin, who never really found his way in the NFL, and this might be his second shot, or his third shot, depending on how you look at things. Now let's rewind to the Golden Tate footnote. Rumors started to circulate earlier that he was going to be suspended for violating the NFL's performance-enhancing policy. Well, it's no longer rumors, and I'll read to you Adam Schefter's tweet. Giants wide receiver Golden Tate is appealing a four-game suspension for violation of the NFL's performance-enhancing substance policy. He believes he has a legitimate case, league sources tell ESPN. To wrap it up, it's ugly, very ugly. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below about the suspension, about the injury, about Shep, and our wide receiver depth. It feels good to be back. Please like and share. If you are new here and like what's going on, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications. This way when we go live or we put out a new video, you don't miss anything. If you'd like to help support the channel, there are links in the description to our merch and our other social media. So if you give a follow there or cop a shirt, let me know. I'll talk to you all later on. Peace out. There's also an update. Here we go. Golden Tate put out his statement saying that this issue is related to fertility treatments uh, between him and his wife, and he's hoping to get it all cleared up. I'll link to that post down below as well. All right, everyone. There's that. Peace out.